Hey everyone, today I want to show how to compare numbers but round them first or compare them to a value that's close to them but not its exact value. This is often comes up in measuring something on a page like styles. So first, let's say that we have a number and let me just bump it up a little bit so you can see it better. Let's say it's 52.9. Can we compare it to the nearest integer? You can definitely take a number and pass it through math round on math floor right or math ceiling and get the result and say should equal and in this case you know the integer that should be equal to 53 that works but let's say we want to compare and it's not the closest integer but maybe a floating point and you know within the point one for example or integer but it could be plus minus one or two in this case if you use something like expect, there's an assertion that says expect 32.7 to be close to, and let's say 32, and you give a precision, plus minus 1. Or you can say plus minus, let's say 2. Well, in this case, it will fail. What about 0.8? In this case, it passes. Similarly, if you use BDD syntax, you can say a rad value should be close to, in this case, let's say, 53.5 uh, plus minus. Perfect. Now let's see this in action. I'm going to concentrate on the next test. In this case, we have an element on the page and we're grabbing the font size, right? the current computer's font size. And if we look at the result of invoking CSS, it yields 16 pixels. All right. So, how do you confirm the font size, for example, aside from using visual testing, that is? The first thing I like to do once I get the style from an element is I pass it through size log, that just prints it in the command log, so I know what's happening. And if something goes wrong later on, at least in the image, I see the problem. Now, this is a string. So if we have a string, we can compare a string to a regular expression to see if it matches. So should match is the assertion, and what's our regular expression? Well, the font size should start with a couple of digits and then end with pixels. Perfect. Once we know that the string matches, we can invoke. Now it's a string, right? So a method and a string is replaced. And we can replace the pixel part with an empty string, which effectively removes px characters at the end. Now that we've done that, we can convert a string to a number because now it's just a string 16. You can confirm it right here by looking at the command log and seeing 16 again. Now that's the number we can use our assertion close to. And in this case, I don't know, let's say we are okay with font being 16 pixels plus minus one. Perfect. 